All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my best preset I've ever made. This preset literally makes you sound exactly like Yeet. And if you don't believe me, just listen to this song. So I came up with a series, Road to an Artist. I put it on my Instagram and a bunch of you guys voted that you wanted to see the Road to an Artist series. Basically, I'm just gonna start releasing songs because I know a lot of you guys actually wanna hear them. And I figured, why not? Let's see what we could do. But in this video, I'm just gonna be breaking down the preset I used for this song. And I'm just gonna break down my recording process and what I did to actually get this sound. Because there are a lot of specific things that you gotta do. Because if you use presets, if you're an artist, you know by now that you do have to adjust the presets a little bit for each song. It's not always just plug and play. Which is why you should definitely take the time to learn how to actually mix vocals, which I have tons of videos on that so check my channel but let's actually jump into the song and I'll, I'll show you guys the preset all right so if you want to listen to the full song i'm gonna have the full song play at the end of this video but for now i'm just gonna show you like little snippets of it so let's go over the first part right off the bat another huge thing that's very important when making songs like this as you can see there's a ton of beat cuts that i did like right here right here a bunch of stuff right here i did some reverse effects on the beat which makes it sound pretty damn crazy and just a bunch of different stuff like that. So let me just show you the beginning part right here. And there are ad libs that are just really far down here because there's a lot of recording tracks. So as you can see, this is a pretty big looking project, but it's not that crazy. So let me just play it for you guys real quick. So yeah, if we solo this out, you can hear what this sounds like. This won't be forever. I'm just now there's actually a lot of microphone leak in that, but it doesn't matter too much. Like depending on how loud you're playing the beat, you're gonna get microphone leak no matter what, or headphone leak. But uh, let me show you guys the actual preset. So this is the main preset I'm using right here. Let me shorten this up so you can see it. And it's actually my Yeet 2093 preset. Uh, I really didn't change anything on here besides the auto tune is in F minor. The main thing I actually changed is just how much delay the yeet voice and the reverb we got so as you can see we're getting a lot of delay and on this delay bus you can see i got a chorus and an imager which is really making that like sit in the stereo field a lot so you can hear it tell them, tell them, tell them. and it ping pongs in both of your headphones so you can hear it bouncing if you're listening to headphones you can actually hear that and then the yeet voice is actually pretty important it really gives it like a harsh sound it almost it's almost like a saturation but all it is, is it's the auto-tune artist with the transpose all the way up. And I just have the retune speed all the way off. You can see I'm using the EQ right here a bit, but I'm going to exaggerate it a bunch so you can see what it's actually doing. Yeah, it just adds like that saturation. So now we're gonna go into the ad lib. So the first ad lib track is actually just the vocal duplicated over, but I took off, as you can see, I took off this EQ, which wasn't doing too much besides taking out some of that low end. So instead I just went into this equalizer right here, took out the low end, I added a fruity flangus, or actually we just moved the fruity flangus up and we put it at 65%. And then we added a fruity stereo shaper with the, the, with the delay going to the right at 0.5 milliseconds which all this does is make it sound super wide. So if you listen to the ad libs down here, where are we at? Uh, if you listen to these ad libs. So it's really nothing special. It's literally just uh, turned down. It's like the main vocal turned down a bit with some stereo shape around it, a little flangus, or actually a lot of flangus, and then the delay the yeet voice and the reverb is just turned all the way up. So we got it super loud and it just fits perfectly together with the vocal. It's really like a nice call and response. So you hit the yeah. So the call and response is like the main vocal yeah, then the ad lib down here and it just fits perfectly together. Tell them. This won't be forever. I was gripping heavy metal. And then there's also one. And then there's one more ad lib track. And this one is just the main ad lib track duplicated over, but instead we leave that EQ on and there's a chorus and then I turned it down even more and I turned the reverb up a lot. So it sounds very ghost-like. So if you listen to this, I think I actually did something in this EQ, Never mind. But yeah, so if you listen to this only, let's... Whew. Whew. <laughs> Yeah, here, let's turn the beat off. Yeah, this is what everything sounds like together. Tell them, this won't be forever. I'm just gripping heavy metal. Bottom, brand new watch, no bezel. But you see that this shit is too real. I'm the real 
realest in this shit. Had to tell your bitch just to prove that I'm the shit. Yeah, I think the key with this song is a contrast of different type of ad libs. So you have like that ghosty ad lib, and then I guess really like the yeet ad lib sound effect. But those two contrasting with each other just sounds super cool. So we'll listen to this one more time. But honestly, I think one of the most important things in this song is actually the beat cuts, because this part right here is definitely my favorite part of the song. And if I just let you guys listen to this, like all I did was literally just cut the beat up a bit. I duplicated this part over to get that boom, boom, boom. And then, and then I just reversed this part of the beat right here. So it sounds super cool. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record like a little intro so you guys could hear what the vocal preset actually sounds like. And then I'm just gonna let the beat, or I'm gonna let the whole song play at the end. This will be uploaded at some point. I'll probably upload it on SoundCloud. Leave a comment and let me know if you actually do wanna hear this uploaded on SoundCloud. But uh, yeah, here, let's get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really listen to shit. Had to take a business, put it on the street, yeah, uh -huh. Every time I'm here, you can't understand what I went through with, with no fear Talk, this won't be forever I'm just gripping heavy metal Bobby, bang and watch my bezel But you see that this shit is too real I'm the realest in this shit Had to take a bitch just to prove that I'm the shit at the top and it took everything to get So be here with the press, it's just better when you raise your yeah. It's two paces, it's a liberty Money doesn't change unless you just a little basic bitch and I don't understand how you can live like that in face you can I took the cows, I gave me and I turned it into Ace's bitch I turn around just to see that you can't handle this It's just the way I'm built, bitch, I'm a different type of candidate so why you mad at this? I built this wasn't handed it. I know that you a fan of this little bitch. Can't put your hands in this. It took some time to be right up. You care about this shit that you be saying when I'm with you. And I don't give a fuck cause I can read you, I can see you. Clear just like the glass that I be seeing in my river. Told you, this won't be forever. I'm just gripping heavy metal. Bobby, bang new watch my best. Bless you. I don't understand how you can live like that and face a kid. 